Hello YouTube, I'm going to take a few minutes here to show you how to make a cup of coffee using the Quessential Slick Drip Collapsible Coffee Dripper. Now what's cool about the Slick Drip is it's made of silicone and that means it's going to last you a long time. It's not going to break like the glass or acrylic versions. And also what's good is it doesn't pass on taste to your coffee like the plastic designs. What you're going to need is the Slick Drip, a number two filter, a coffee cup, and whole roasted beans, medium to light roast. Also, you're going to need a pot to boil your water. Step one is pretty simple, which is just to get your water boiling. And then after that, you can start grinding your beans. Now, I said before to use a medium to light roast because I've found that when you use a dark roast, you tend to lose the flavor of the bean. And then what you end up getting is an artificial roasted flavor. The size of the coffee grounds actually does influence the taste of your coffee. So I like personally to have mine a little bit larger than coarse sand, but feel free to experiment with whatever different sizes you want until you find that perfect combination. The next thing we're going to need to do is to open up the slick drip, then place it on top of your coffee mug, and once it's sitting there, you put in your number two filter. Once you're all set there, just take a little bit of that boiling water we said earlier and pour it over the filter. Now this takes away some of the paper taste and it also makes the filter stick to the slick drip. Obviously you're gonna have a little water in your cup and what you want to do is just throw that out. This next step is very important and what we're going to do is pour some of that water on the middle of the coffee grounds not on the sides and then you'll start to notice some foam at the top which is known as the bloom. This is a very important chemical process that releases the air trapped inside of the coffee. You can keep pouring the water until you start to see it drip from the bottom. This is known as the first drip. Then you can let it sit there until the bloom dissipates. After about 30 seconds, once the bloom has gone down, you could start pouring water again, once again in the middle. But don't pour too much at once. If you pour too much at once, your coffee won't extract properly and you'll get a concave shape. You want to make sure it stays nice and flat. And you can repeat this process until you get the exact amount of coffee you want. Okay, by now you're done, and you can tell if you did a good job by seeing if the grounds are actually flat. If it's concave, you might have poured a little too quickly. And also, you use the right amount of coffee if there's no bloom left on the sides. So that's pretty much it. Now you know how to make hand-dripped coffee using the Quessential Slick Drip Collapsible Silicone Coffee Dripper. Hope you enjoy.